Hello, Catherine Lovewell here from the Teacher's Sanctuary, reporting in for Action April. Now, I have mixed feelings about recording this one and it's taken me a long time to consider exactly how I share this. Um, so Prince died yesterday and I have indulged in uh, spending a few hours just soaking up um, interviews he did, some of the amazing music he created and just basically being inspired by someone that I loved his music and still do and uh, have special memories, you know, Purple Rain and my youth and um, the 80s. And uh, so I thought I'd share a few pointers with you, first of all, um, about some of his philosophies. And so I wrote some of the, the things down that he shared. Um, I'm a musician. I live for that. And uh, we've got lots of mini Action Aprils here. Maybe there's just a one big reflection. What do you live for? It's a really, really great question. I mean, he was absolutely passionate about his music. He was a, a real musician. He believed in music. He believed in albums. He believed in, in the art of music. Um, so what do you live for? Once I got support from people, I believed I could do anything. It's, it just wells me up, to be perfectly honest. So mini Action April, and some of these we have covered already. What and whom um, could you re receive support from? So that you could do anything, anything that you'd really love. Ooh, it's a big one. Good mentoring and good teaching. We learn from being shown. So he was talking about this, you know, his success came when he had good teachers and great mentors. And I know we've talked about this already, about who could you ask for mentorship or coaching or support or masterminding from. So I found it really interesting that um, this was an area that he he highlighted as um, an aspect of his growth and success. We learn from being shown. I know I've mentioned this, but you know, who could, who could show you something? Maybe there's something you'd really love to learn that's new. And uh, I, I'm very kinesthetic, so I learn very well from being shown as opposed to uh, just reading it from a book or um, or following instructions. Someone shows me, I can act on that uh, quite positively and um, efficiently. So maybe you take a look at the way you're teaching, the way uh, you're learning, the things that you um, would love to expand upon. All right. Um, so he's talking about his success, having really good teachers and a bar so high. Now, I don't know whether you know anything about um, Prince's background and upbringing, but his dad was tough. His dad was a tough teacher and was always telling Prince that um, he was not good enough when it came to, say, playing the piano. No, that's not as good as me, he would say. Um, and, uh, and what's interesting is, of course, that could have easily knocked the stuffing out of him. And uh, I know we could all perhaps reflect and see where we've chosen the okay <laughs> I just won't do it or all right let's dig deeper let's prove him wrong let's prove them wrong whatever it is and he talks about creating your own universe well what would what would you love to create in your own universe and I always considered my classroom my own universe, especially when I was teaching in prison. So there was all this stuff going on around me, political stuff, um, staff stuff, obviously the challenges of the prison system. And yet inside my classroom, it was my own universe. There was magic that took place. Even now when I look back at it, it was truly extraordinary. So 
What would you like to create in your universe? My goodness, there's a lot to cover today, isn't there? And um, it's interesting. Prince was a Jehovah's Witness, and whilst um, uh, I'm not going to advocate any uh, form of religion uh, or dogma or say one is right and one is wrong, one of the magical things that I loved uh, often when Prince was interviewed was that he would express his gratitude and uh, share his gratitude. And, and I think there's something absolutely extraordinary in that. Now we probably haven't done a big one uh, actually in April on gratitude. So let's thread that one in as well. What have you got to be grateful for? My goodness me, all the technology um, that blows my head off. <laughs> it's just stunning. Um, and of course, the uh, you know other end of the spectrum, the closeness, the intimacy of family and friends, the connection, and um, that which goes beyond words, those friendships, that love. So um, I am quite emotional about Prince dying. And um, of course, Victoria Wood died um, just recently as well. And it's interesting, isn't it? Why would I be upset about some people that I've never met? But I think there's something extraordinary about their gifts. And uh, there's a, an opportunity here to really press pause. And maybe the ultimate action, April, is to look at what are you doing in your life that you are really loving? So like Prince, are you living for your music or living for your teaching or living for um, your students um, or your subject, whatever it is. But ultimately, if you're not, then what can you do? to change, to get going on a passion that you would really love to do, to throw caution to the wind and just go for it, uh, regardless of maybe what your logic is saying. Um, what is it you truly love to create in your own universe? Prince didn't worry about what other people were dressing um, in fashion. He didn't worry about what music they were making. He didn't think about that. He just created for himself. Um, and, and the act of creation was his thing. And making music, that was his passion. So I suppose ultimately today's Action April is about having that time to reflect and consider that it's never too late to look at and dive into and take action into that which would make your heart sing and bring you alive in a way like mu music did for Prince. Um, I hope that makes sense. It's a huge, huge topic and uh, forgive my emotion. It's, it's, uh, it's, I have spent a few hours now really exploring and looking at these things and I think it's a really, really big one. Give yourself time today. And if not today, you know, it's Friday. <laughs> so, is it Saturday? It's the weekend soon. Spend some time at the weekend and, um, and just pause, take a look and see what you would like to take action on for your own universe. Thanks for watching, thanks for being here. Please stay connected and please share these Action Aprils. I'd love to um, hear your thoughts sometime. Um, if you've got a moment, drop me a line. Until next time, remember to take action. Take care.